All right, just a quick video once again exposing and showing Stephen Anderson's agenda to infiltrate Baptist churches all over North America. Again, I've shown this clip, uh, I've shown clips similar to this, I'll put it that way. Uh, I've shown this guy before, Sam Gipp. Don't agree with him on everything, but he has done a lot of good stuff exposing Anderson. And he points out the fact that, you know, and this was back in 2017, so think of how much more it is true now. But it, this was back in 2017 where he was saying that he essentially had, had visited 20 different shepherds, 20 different pastors, and all 20 of them had independently uh, said that the, basically the same wolf is getting into their church and infecting it with the heresies of the new IFB. That's plain and simple. Because Anderson will send his goons into other Baptist churches to either convert them over to his heresies or steal some of the sheep and send them over to Phoenix. That's how the whole cult works. But here's a clip of uh, Gip explaining that and explaining why he exposes Anderson. I call my ministry a friend to churches, correct? Mm -hmm. Alright, if you visited 20 shepherds and all 20 of them said the same wolf. I mean, when they, they said a wolf came uh, and, and hurt my sheep and killed some of my sheep and you found out it was the same wolf, somebody needs to go hunting the wolf. And I go into churches time and time again and, and a pastor says, uh, one of my people has been watching Stephen Anderson and now they think uh, they, don't, they, they hate Israel now. They, don't think we're, they think we're going through the tribulation. Uh, and so that is why I, I, I do this. If you think I am unkind for what I'm going to say about him, you know what I've never said? I've never said he's gone to hell. If you go on the internet, do Stephen Anderson 11-25-14, uh, uh, November 25th, uh, 2014, at minute 45 to 47, he says Sam Gipp is not saved. Now, I'll tell you something, guys. Is this not how you get saved? By trusting the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ as a sole and complete payment of your sin? Well, I got news for you. Stephen Anderson said that's a lie because that's exactly what I did. If I'm not saved, Jesus Christ is a liar. He's going to hell for his lie. I am saved. But, but this guy can't stand it because I've been exposing what his uh, errors are. And I'm just starting. I'm just starting. We're, we're going to be doing some more things uh, <clears throat> in the future. This is precisely why the... Um internet pastor over in Arizona, Steven Anderson, why, you know, he has to do this kind of stuff. Because, you know, he's supposed to have a pastor in First Timothy chapter 3, verse 1 to 7, and Titus chapter 1, verse 5 to 9, who meets the qualifications, and also Acts 13, verse 1 to 3, you, you know, you know, you've met the evangelist, you know them, you know the minister, okay, you know them in person. So what happens is it goes to the internet, and they go into Baptist churches, and hence how you have like 20 different shepherds all independently say the same wolf is stealing the sheep. Because it's not uh, knowing your pastor in person, it's you're, you're attending a church, but you're, you're listening to a guy over the internet, and essentially being, essentially what you're doing is you're basically there as like a, a spy, essentially. You're there to convert the people over, try to get them over to the church in Phoenix. That's how the new IFB cult runs. And I used to be part of the new IFB, I left back in 2019, and it is truly a group that wants to infiltrate and convert Baptist churches, tra traditional Baptist churches, over to the heresies of the new IFB. You know, see, the thing is, they claim to be in line with traditional Baptists. They're the furthest thing from it. They support all kinds of heresies that are alien to traditional Baptist churches, the most notable being their support for theocracies. Okay, it's totally alien. Also a violation of John 18.36, too. So I wanted to show you guys that. Anderson has an agenda. There's actually a Baptist church not far from where, about like maybe two hours away from me, that was infiltrated by Anderson's goons. So, yeah, it's it's a problem across North America, this new IFB call. Hence why I stay on Steve Anderson's little internet call he started over in Arizona. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.